Late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 5 p.m. Coverage you can count on. All new at 5, it appears the DeKalb County DA's office is aggressively going after lawbreakers and winning. Channel 2's Ryan Young spoke to the district attorney and found out there is a secret to her success. He's live in DeKalb County. Ryan? Not only are they using a new computer program, but they're also contacting victims a lot earlier. But they have seen a rise in cases this year, but they're handling them a lot faster. Last year we had about 8,500 cases. Uh, we are looking at approximately a 9% increase. DeKalb's DA's office handles hundreds of cases each year. Last year, they took 70 cases to trial. 80 trials uh, so far this year and have only had eight not guilty. So. Despite furloughs and a staff of 50 lawyers, each potentially handling more than 100 cases, this office has upgraded computer software and used first-time offender programs to help streamline the court process. A great deal of peace of mind. Uh, justice delayed is justice denied. And so we want to make sure that victims have their cases resolved quickly, but also that defendants also have their cases resolved quickly. There may be instances in which someone was arrested and they didn't commit the crime. In courtrooms like this, they are seeing an uptick in economy-related crimes. White-collar crimes, public integrity, elder exploitations in their own families. But in the past year, the DA's office has cut the average trial wait from 600 days to 400. Those here believe they can cut that down to 180 days. But popular TV has also played a role in what jurors believe. What people fail to realize is what you see on TV uh, does not happen that way in real life. We can't take fingerprints off of carpets or turn around and make a closing argument in two minutes that results in a conviction. The DA, DA also says that witnesses play a key role in helping their office make convictions. So they're hoping people continue the flow of information toward her office. We're going live in DeKalb County. Ryan Young, Channel 2 Action News. This afternoon, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, is calling its Operation Community Shield a huge success. ICE agents arrested 1,785 fugitives nationwide. The arrest came over a six-month period. The crackdown includes 439 arrests, mostly in the metro area. The region includes Georgia and the Carolinas. Most of those arrested have gang connections.